Hello and welcome. I have the privilege of being your infinite mentor and today I'm going to talk about a higher faculty which we don't tap into nearly enough. You know Einstein said that this higher faculty was more important than anything else and this faculty is the faculty of imagination. My name is Dan Lefebvre and welcome. Today I want to talk about this higher faculty that you can strengthen. It's like a mental muscle. You can strengthen it just like you strengthen a muscle going to the gym, lifting weights, or doing some sort of physical activity. This muscle is there for our use. It's a higher faculty and you can tap into it at any time. Now the fact that Napoleon Hill said that imagination is more important than anything really perplexes me because you have to wonder, this guy is a scientist. He uses a scientific method. He's very methodical and logical. Why would he even be using something that is completely intangible, like imagination? Yet he did, and he was 20 years ahead of his time. Now, if that doesn't impress you, research a little bit about imagination and those who used it, like Edison and Tesla and all sorts of great inventors and creators. They, in fact, didn't create anything. They just brought their awareness to it. It was there all the time. They just needed to raise, your, raise their awareness. And you can do the same thing, too. So today, I'm going to challenge you to use your imagination. And you may be wondering, how do I do this? How do I turn on my imagination? Maybe you haven't used it in a while. In fact, most people don't use it beyond the age of seven. Why? Because as of age seven, we get told, sit down, face front, don't daydream, and all these guidelines and rules and limitations that prevent us from using our creative imagination. So we kind of squash it and put it away and don't use it unless we're in a creative environment, a creative business or a creative career where we can tap into it all the time, but it's there. So if you're not sure how to use it, just start off with these words. Imagine if, and just complete that sentence with something you really want, something you're mostly involved in, something you really love. Just complete that sentence and then let your subconscious mind do its work. It's going to turn on and it's going to start turning over these images to you based on what you're thinking and what you're imagining. So just say imagine if and complete that sentence. And if you like to write, go ahead and journal it. Imagine if and just write out things and make things up. Make it as big, as bold and beautiful as you like. There's no, no limitations. There's abundance all around us and you can tap into it. So use that faculty today and test yourself and see how you can improve your quality of life because you can live a life of design or live a life of default. If you're living by default, you're letting the circumstances of your environment control you, but you don't have to. You can think your way, you can create your way through your imagination and have a life of your design. Be the architect of your life. So go out today and make it a great day and ask yourself these four questions at the end of your day. Did I, laugh? did I love, did I laugh, did I learn, and did I serve? Go out and make it a great day, and I look forward to sharing new and, and empowering insights with you again. Thank you very much. This is Dan Lefebvre.